Hey Saxons, welcome back to school and welcome back to this year's final fin. Today is Tuesday, June 7th. In general school news, 11 first students will be published in Eastern's Washington University Journal Inroads. Uh, Kennedy Sarmento, Kaylin Lott, Jackson Froderberg, Isabel Matthews, Tana Morgan Schmidt. Ramona Benson, Jocelyn Kennedy, Olivia Hart, Olivia Barton, Elise Klein, and Chloe Theobald will be honored on June 10th on the rooftop of Saranac House at 6.30, where they will read their pieces and receive copies of the journals in which they are published. Oh, uh, what you guys doing? Ben. Oh, oh, um, my bad. <laughs> Do you um, want to take the next slide for us? Yeah, sure. Here in the Finn Studio, we've worked hard to highlight some of this year's news stories, clubs, sports, and activities here at Ferris. For our last show, we're going to turn the camera back on ourselves and have our seven graduating seniors tell you a little bit more about the Finn team. Finn. Ferris Information Network. To be a part of uh, Finn feels like to be behind the scenes of the school. It's nice to be involved in something, especially since I'm new to the school. It's nice to be involved in something that not many people um, join, per se. I would say that my favorite memories from Finn are our holiday party. We set up a VHS of Winnie, Pooh's, Winnie the Pooh's Christmas and had some hot chocolate and set up some candy and just being able to hang out with the people was a lot of fun. We had just finished our big end of semester projects and so it was a nice celebration. Um, we all felt like we had finished this big project and it was time to celebrate so that was a lot of fun. When I made the April Fool's Bori thing, um, a lot of people started calling me Bori. Uh, <laughs> And uh, a lot of people had me settle arguments on if it was a croissant or a muffin, um, but it's a donut. Reactions to Finn that have stuck out to me were from people in Finn, and it's usually people seeing themselves on Finn in front of like a whole class and getting very embarrassed and just shutting down and putting their faces on their desks and making inhumane sounds until it's over. I was told by one of my teachers that one of my stories almost made them tear up last year and that was the reaction that I still remember and it made me feel very impactful. One of my best memories is meeting everyone from Finn. Everyone is super nice and welcoming. A lot of the people in here are really weird, like the good way where it's like you don't really see a lot of people like you hanging out. I kind of want to talk to you, man. Uh, just the people in general that are in the class, like, it doesn't matter um, who you are, you all work together kind of as a group. Even if um, you don't know what's going on, there's always going to be that one person, like Ms. Harold or someone who's been here a year before to help you out with whatever you need. Um, one of my best memories from Finn was being able to help on a project uh, I can't remember the name of the project. It was like a janitorial project. <laughs> it was fun because there was a point where um, <laughs> we were supposed to throw a piece of paper from behind the camera into the trash bin next to Emily and it took like 20 takes because every single time we either hit Emily with the paper or completely missed. <laughs> It's a community where everyone around me is trying to learn the same types of things that I am and is passionate not only about their own projects but wants to see how their peers' projects turn out and wants to, wants to help them with their projects if they need it. Um, there have been so many times where we've had people just jump into other people's projects when they were asked for help and created really awesome pieces. I had all my PE credits. At the beginning of the year I had PE as my final class. And so there was a lot of like schedule problems going on. And eventually the like, council was like, alright, so here's the classes available. It's like TV productions, like YouTube videos. Because I was young. And by that I mean 17. I joined Finn because I had Miss Harold as uh, an English teacher and she was teaching Finn and trying to get kids to join. So I jumped on the opportunity and it's been probably the best decision I've made at Ferris. 
It's been a long and unusual school year, Saxon, so let's take some time to look back at where we started. In the fall, we asked students how they felt about being back in the building instead of online. Here is what they said. During online school, it was pretty lonely. I didn't get to see like most of my friends that I'd been used to seeing for up to six years, pretty much in a row, and then not being able to see them, it was just just weird, lonely in a sense. Honestly, I loved it. Uh, I love just being in my own space, being in my room. I could eat during class, I can do whatever. So honestly, I loved it, it was great. I could pretty much just log on to school, like pretty much in my bed. So it was nicer than having to wake up a couple of like, an hour or two before school to get ready and then go to the bus. It was just a lot, it was a lot more convenient. I didn't have like a lot of like in-person contact at the time. I was going through a lot at home, so sitting at a laptop wasn't really a priority. To generalize the whole experience, it was just miserably, you know, sitting in the same chair for three hours a day. Um, I really enjoyed coming back to in-person schooling. Um, it was so much more hands-on. It was so much easier to learn. I used to be like more of a social kind of guy, and then when I first started back into actual school, I was really freaking socially awkward. The seeing people for the first time when I'd only seen them through the computer was very weird. Adjusting back, I kind of just lost all my social skills, really. I had to build those all back up. Um, the worst part about coming back was having to wear masks, um, not really having that personal connection of seeing someone's face or being able to read their lips. Uh, overall, I'd say coming back was a lot better than online school. Another way this year was a little different was in sports. We talked to coaches Malin and Ward about how sports were a little more challenging this year. Yeah, so uh, it, it's had a big effect on school sports. Um, I mean, last year was uh, was really disruptive. Obviously, this you know we kind of had modified seasons. This year, we've at least been able to have kind of normal seasons, but um, a lot of challenges, especially with Omicron, uh, has really infected a lot of people. And so, uh, we've had you know a number of athletes have caught it and had to you know quarantine for a, for a while. Uh, we've had coaches get it. Um, uh, it's been great to be able to play. Uh, we've had a lot of fun. It's been a great season, but um, it's been, you know, we've had some, some periods of uncertainty at times, and it's been definitely challenging. So, yeah. You know, just the day-to-day -day of it, you know, the whole getting tested all the time thing. It's just there's a lot of things about it that aren't normal, and, you know, I guess that's most of the world today, but it's definitely affected sports. We really knew things were getting back to normal when we had our first rubber chicken since 2020. Even though we didn't win Chuck, a great time was had by all. Especially with being really invested this year through both the leadership class and the cheer team as my part as a chicken, it was a lot of time and a lot of effort and planning that got put into it. And seeing the fruits of that labor, it was probably the most satisfying thing I've done all year. Rubber Chicken as a whole has been something for us to just kind of like is really proud of, and it's something we always look forward to. Our basketball team is amazing, both the girls and the guys. The wearer teams have really come together, and also had great sportsmanship. It was amazing. Rubber Chicken has always been about how much you invest in it. You're going to get just as much out of it as you put into it. I think, if anything, I'm more proud to be a Saxon after Rubber Chicken. Yeah. Like, it was, it was really cool to see, like, that many people at one game, like, all cheering for our school. Uh, just go Saxon, stay strong, keep spreading love, keep spreading kindness, and make every day count. <laughs> it's hard to believe the end of this year has come so quickly, but here we are, just two days away from the senior class's last day, so we thought we'd give seniors a chance to leave us with a little of their hard-earned wisdom. So basically, uh, my advice would be to just make the, make the best out of your whole entire high school experience, have fun, um, obviously, stay on top of your schoolwork, don't slack because your grades actually do matter in the end, but um, I would say just have fun, make the most, uh, get involved, join sports, join a club, uh, play an instrument, just do anything to make the most out of your high school experience. I'm going to say the best part of my high school experience would probably be choir for me. Um, I just made a lot of close friendships in that and um, just the overall environment in choir for me has been really, it's been really good for me.
and I think that has been like the most good part of my, <laughs> my high school experience. Been the best part, for sure. Um, make friends with your teachers. Keep those relationships. And don't procrastinate. Um, going on trips with SACLA. Ooh, that's fun. Don't try too hard, really. Don't push yourself to the point to where you only do school and then it just leaves everything else worse off because then that'll make everything else harder. Probably one or two good people I've met. The classes itself, they're fun, but I've passed them and the most exciting part is just the game. The biggest piece of advice I would give to incoming freshmen is to put yourself out there. Club sounds interesting, give it a try. If you wanna go join that club, give it a try. If you're scared to ask a teacher a question, just go do it. Put yourself out there, make friends and make memories. The best part of my high school experience was being able to uh, participate in music. There were a lot of different opportunities I got, I met a lot of new people, and I had a lot of fun time. So I would recommend the Ferris Music Program to everyone. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, healthy, and have a great summer, Saxons. That was a good take. <laughs>